Hey, brothers and sisters, this is your brother Raha Shalah from the tribe of Joseph. And this is just another real quick one. Another real quick one. This is just an example of why we need the Holy Spirit with all these translations and how translation leaves room for error and uh, those people who uh, teach and lead can throw in their own perspective and their own opinions. I'm just gonna give a very simple example and hope this reaches who it reaches. If I were to say, you need, they use this hammer to build that house. And then I, I rewrite it and say, you need a tool to do things around that house. Some right now can debate over what I just said. Well, you said the same thing, did I? Or well, the fact that I changed hammer to tool. Oh, that's the same thing, no, it's not. Think about how many tools there are. The first statement I said to build that house. The second statement I said to do things around the house. And this is what's happened with scriptures different translations and Bibles, and it leaves room for opinion. Because if I was to take that second statement, I could say, you know, you need a screwdriver, you know, a screwdriver is a tool, and then I can go on and you can take this how, <laughs> you guys already know, I don't have to go that deep into it. You know, well, it said tool, so I chose this tool, and then another uh, teacher could be like, well, I would assume it's a, it's, it's, it's a hammer, you know, a hammer makes more sense. And then here comes the division. Now somebody else is saying it's a wrench. And there you go. You got three different teachers because of one translation going three different ways. It went from hammer because it was translated to tool. Now you got hammer, screwdriver, and wrench. That's it. So you need the Holy Spirit to get you away from all that division and translation and all that confusion so you don't get led astray. I love you, brothers and sisters, and I hope you enjoy this quick message. <laughs> God bless and God willing, I'll make another video.